Hey everyone! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're tackling a problem that bothers a lot of people. Folliculitis. Now, before you freak out, remember, this is a pretty common issue. Even the American Academy of Dermatology says it's something many people experience at least once in their lifetime. But first, what are the things you'll need to complete this task? For the full list and where to get them, check the description and pinned comment below. Now that you have all your tools and materials ready, let's get into it. Get rid of it! Step 1. Identify folliculitis. First things first, you've got to identify whether you're actually dealing with folliculitis. It usually shows up as red bumps around hair follicles. Sometimes, there may even be a tiny dot of pus at the top. If you're unsure, consult a dermatologist. Step 2. Cleanse the area. Take a mild antibacterial soap and gently cleanse the affected area. You want to get rid of any dirt, oil, or bacteria that could worsen the infection. Remember, the emphasis is on gentle so you don't irritate the skin further. Step 3. Apply warm compress. Soak a clean towel in warm water and wring out the excess. Place this warm compress on the affected area for about 10 to 15 minutes. According to Harvard Health Publishing, warm compresses can help reduce inflammation. Step 4. Apply hydrocortisone cream. Take a cotton ball and apply a thin layer of over-the-counter hydrocortisone cream. This will help relieve any itching or inflammation. Just make sure you're not allergic to any of its ingredients. Step 5. Apply topical antibiotics. Apply a thin layer of topical antibiotic cream like Neosporin to the affected area. But hey, don't just take my word for it. The Mayo Clinic often recommends topical antibiotics for minor skin infections. Step 6. Consult a doctor for persistent cases. If your folliculitis doesn't clear up within a week or gets worse, consult a healthcare provider. They may prescribe oral antibiotics or even antifungal medication depending on the root cause. Step 7. Maintain hygiene. Last but definitely not least, maintain good skin hygiene to prevent future occurrences. This includes things like not sharing towels and razors, which even the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention warn against. And there you have it. A simple guide on how to get rid of folliculitis. It's a common issue, but thankfully, one that can be resolved with proper care. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video, and leave a comment below. Until next time, take care.